WOW stands for Working on Women in Science, and the idea is to uh, engage in projects that will help increase the number of women among the faculty in the science departments and make their success more likely to remove barriers to their success and to thereby enhance the utilization of these people's talents. When I first arrived here, I was the only woman faculty out of, I think there were 11 of us at the time, and it's only been the last couple of years that now we have three women in the department and we're up to 12 faculty. During the time that I was department chair, we tripled the number of women in the department. Of course, we were starting from a very small small number, i.e. two. It's a disconnect uh, with the diversity at the faculty level versus the student level. Both undergraduate and graduate level um, diversity is, um, it's more than 50% women, but it just doesn't translate to the faculty level for some reason. It provides better balance in a department when you have a variety of people and perspectives. We can't solve all these issues in one year or two year slot, but, but the dialogue gets started. The more highly talented faculty we have engage with those students both in terms of classroom teaching and also teaching within the laboratory, within their own research, those are things that are very good for students. And in particular for our female students, it's great for them to see people who look like them in the kind of positions that they might aspire to. I'm a uh, paleoclimatologist, which means that I use different indirect measures to reconstruct past environments. And I work with both fossil and archaeological material, and in particular shells. And shells are like um, CD-ROMs, so they grow incrementally, and they record information about um, the ambient environment. And so I can analyze them and use them basically as climate archives. My research is, is on groundwater discharge to the ocean. And we see this at the beach. When you go to the beach and you stick your, your feet in the sand, you've, you eventually will find water, and that is seawater that just infiltrated the sediments. Well, that happens for sometimes hundreds of meters beneath the sediment surface up the beach. And we call that groundwater, seawater, zone where they meet, a subterranean estuary. So it's, it's like the estuary that you see on the coast where the river meets the sea, but now it's a groundwater plume meeting saline or salty pour water. And so I'm very interested in the geochemistry, biogeochemistry that occurs, that the reactive um, zone that occurs within that subterranean estuary. 